weapons are modern and invincible. Our skills are honed to perfection. Our resolution is to secure the Indian skies ever onwards. Our motto is touch the sky with glory. Our dream is to serve the nation in war and peace. We are the Indian Air Force. People first, mission always. Ever since its inception in 1932, the Indian Air Force has taken every challenge as an opportunity. Every obstacle has been a chance to prove its mettle. The Indian Air Force first swung into action in October 1947 when a sudden and unprovoked assault was made upon the state of Jammu and Kashmir. The service rose to the occasion with matchless alacrity. The 1965 war with Pakistan was the next big challenge. At 1600 hours on the 1st of September, Air Marshal Arjun Singh the then Chief of Air Staff was asked by the Defence Minister as to how soon the Air Force could render support to the Army. He replied, within an hour. The word was kept as four vampires delivered their rockets on enemy pattern tanks. The IAF was ready to take on the opponent in the next round in 1971. The Indian Air Force's hour of glory. To recall, after the surrender by Lieutenant General A.A.K. Niazi and his 92,000 troops, when asked why he had surrendered when his army was still intact, he pointed at the pilot's wings on an Indian Air Force officer's uniform and said, because of this, you, the Indian Air Force. It is our duty to remember and honor the sacrifices of the air warriors who defended the nation. Under unfavorable conditions, it is the man behind the machine that matters the most. The heroic deeds of the gallant heroes of the IAF have left their footprints in the annals of history and will always be remembered by our nation with a sense of gratitude. Jai Hind! Be it war or peace, Indian Air Force is committed to serve the nation. It could be a natural calamity or a humanitarian crisis. The service has trained itself to respond fast in the face of natural disasters and be at the forefront of our national effort. Floods in Jammu and Kashmir during September 2014 saw the Indian Air Force participating in its biggest ever disaster relief operation. During this, a total of 73 aircraft, including 34 fixed wing and 39 helicopters were pressed into action. The operation lasted 11 days, featuring a total of 2,915 sorties by IAF aircraft translating to airlift of 4,563 tons and evacuation of 53,159 passengers. In April 2015, more than 5,000 Indians and foreign nationals were evacuated from Yemen. Operation Maitri in Nepal during April 2015 saw the Indian response start within four hours of the earthquake striking the Himalayan country. 15 helicopters and transport aircraft were utilized for rescue and relief operations. The Indian Air Force airlifted 1,350 tons of load, evacuated over 5,188 persons and 780 casualties, transported over 295 Indian disaster management personnel to the affected areas in an operation which lasted over 40 days. The Indian Air Force embraced the 21st century, enhancing the nation's aerospace power to arm itself for the warfare of the future. The fighter fleet has been modernized with the upgradation of air superiority MiG-29 fighter to the multi-role MiG-29 upgrade standard.
Su-30 MKI is a twin-jet multi-role air superiority all-weather long-range fighter. It is a highly potent fighter jet and is the backbone of the Indian Air Force. Its high agility and ability to carry a wide variety of weapons gives it the capability to dominate the skies over Indian airspace and beyond. The IAF is upgrading Mirage 2008. This multi-role fighter has achieved enhanced operational life. A Mirage 2000 carried out a landing on the Yamuna Expressway to showcase its operational capability characterized by flexibility and speed of response. Jaguar fighters are one of the most important parts of this potent strike force. Jaguars are also being upgraded to include multi-mode radar, autopilot and more powerful engines as part of the Darren 3 program. Akash, the indigenously developed supersonic surface-to-air missile, packs a punch in air defense. Astra is the air-to-air -air beyond visual range missile developed and validated by DRDO. The missile is undergoing flight trials. The light combat aircraft has been indigenously developed will soon enter operational service as the defender of Indian skies. There's more to missile technology. The 500 pounds penetration. High explosive blast warhead is capable of engaging a wide variety of land-based targets, including coastal defense sites, surface-to-air missile sites. The service believes in constantly nurturing its air warriors. An Indian Air Force team has flown combat training missions along with Royal Air Force during the Indo-UK bilateral exercise in Bluthanush 4 from the 21st to the 31st of July 2015 in the United Kingdom. Su-30 MKI, C-130J, Globemaster C-17 and Garud Special Forces availed of the opportunity to learn through mutual exchanges of ideas on operational philosophy to boost the operational support capability. Mi-17 V-5 helicopters, C-130J Special Operations and C-17 Globemaster heavy lift aircrafts were inducted. The C-130J has made Indian defense stronger through its reach and special operations capabilities besides being a workhorse for disaster relief and humanitarian aid operations. With induction of modern traders like Hawk and Pilatus BC-7 Mark II, the service has enhanced its training capacity and is systematically building up its capability. AWACS aircraft are the eyes in the skies. The airborne warning and control radar system is integrated along with ground-based radars into a command and control system called the IACCS, taking the IAF forward towards achieving net-centric operations. The maintenance and technical staff plays a crucial role in service. The Air Force Orchestra provides melodies befitting every occasion. Adventure activities are a way of life with the Indian Air Force. It is a matter of pride that an all-women Air Force team has killed the Mount Everest. The Indian Air Force's ethos, professionalism, leadership and above all, its air warriors are the real catalyst in effectively harnessing the forces capabilities towards nation building and national security. The Indian Air Force, beyond the sky, ahead of tomorrow.